Radiation. Now that's a word that instills a lot of fear into a lot of people, sometimes unfoundedly so. Hi, Craig here. I'm well known on YouTube for doing a lot of testing all over the country for alpha, beta, gamma, x-ray radiation. We do testing all over the country and my channel has been largely known in the past to be a debunking channel to try to quell the, the fear porn artists who like to tell you that, that we're all going to die from radiation from Fukushima. After seven years, nobody's died from Fukushima. But anyway, um, we're going to be talking about radiation. Let's show it on a chart here. We've got a whole series of frequencies here, all kinds of frequencies. And what we've been talking about in the past are what we, the, the, the ionizing radiation. Over to the right-hand side, talking about gamma and x-ray radiation. These are the types of radiation we're talking when we're talking about nuclear radiation. But as you see, there's a whole lot more frequencies here to test. Most of these you need special devices to test. However, there are two of the frequencies, general areas, that you do not need any instrumentation. And that would be over to the left hand, we see audio with our ears. And yes, too much of that frequency can damage the body as well. And then we move along over to before we get over to x-rays, we see uh, between UV light and, and infrared light, we see visible light with our eyes. And that is a form of radiation also, and if you get too much of that, you can damage your body as well, right? So, but look over here to the left a little bit, and we see RF frequencies, or sometimes referred to as microwave frequencies. And that's the next venture of this journey here on this channel. We're going to be testing a lot of RF radiation as well in our next series of videos. It's going to take, we're probably over the next years, but we've got some that are done right now, and those are going to be linked below. Uh, there's some in the editing phase, there's some I still have to do. And we're going to be testing everyday things dealing with RF radiation, with devices such as this, okay? With mounted on devices like this that I constructed to mount to my tripod, it's a, it's a whole weird thing I got going here. But anyway, uh, to keep the hands free to try to do these readings for you, um, check the, the links below and you'll find we're going to be testing everyday things you have around the house or the office or in your day-to-day -day schedule that you'll encounter on a daily basis, such as... Uh, some cars have RF signatures, microwave ovens, cell phones, cell phones and the headsets with cell phones, the, the wires, the speaker phones. We're going to show you distances, how far you have to be away from a cell phone, for instance, to see what kind of reduction you get with using a headset or a Bluetooth. Um, Wi-Fi, computers, baby monitors, smart meters, cell phone towers themselves. We're going to be doing all kinds of testing to give you the readings you need to make an informed decision if you want to do something about it. Now, some people are said to be more sensitive to these frequencies and can sense them. Most of us can't sense these without instrumentation, but some people claim they can. Okay, so be it. Um, and during this whole series, what you're going to find, unlike my nuclear radiation knowledge, uh, I have a lot of RF knowledge and we're going to be doing later magnetic frequencies, electromagnetic fields, we're going to be doing that as well later. Been studying this stuff for 20 years or more. But this time, for this series of videos, I'm not going to give an opinion. I'm just going to give you the readings as scientifically basis as I can, as with as, as well as I can do it based on my capability, money and time and access to equipment and so on. I'm going to give you the best kind of readings I can, and I'm just going to show you the numbers without opinion. Because of the extreme trolling I get on my channel on a lot of different topics, I'm going to take a, this one a stance. I'm just going to be neutral about it and just give you the readings. And then, unlike the Fukushima people, it's up to you then to decide if those numbers are safe or not by doing some research. Yes, nobody, anybody that believed we were going to die from Fukushima didn't know anything about ionizing radiation and didn't do any study other than watching fear porn on YouTube that has an ulterior motive, clickbait fear porn, I call it. So, this series is just going to give you numbers then you have to figure out the rest of it from there. Okay? So, if you want to keep up with what's going on, more, more and more videos I, I produce, you'll have to subscribe and get the, click the icon for the notifications. Um, we may see these new videos come about for years to come. But in the next few months after the posting of this, we'll try to get most of them up so you have a good basis, something to start with. And then it's up to you to decide what you want to do with that information, if you want to do anything. So long.